Uh, so you can just download Frida, which will be required. It's a tool for um, process injection. It is not only for Android and mobile devices. It can be also be used, for example, on Windows to do process injections or, for example, on iOS devices. Okay, let's go next and install Frida tools so that everything is available on our system. Okay, I can see that some things have been installed and some have not. And here I can try and use my first comment for Frida. So Frida PS, I can see that it's working. Also, after typing Frida, I can see that there is um, the target and how it should be constructed. Okay, so all of the comments work and we can go further with our parts of the course. Uh, so in that case, we can try and install ADB, so the Android debug bridge. So sudo apt-get install ADB, wait a moment for that to install, and then we'll try to connect to our Android phone. Okay, just write ADB, and here we can see all the most important comments. Um, to view our connected devices, we have to type the ADB devices command. And now there is a problem, because we don't have any device connected, even though we have an emulator running right now. So what we have to do is open up the emulator, open up the phone, and look at the IP address that's over here. Um, so this IP address will tell us how to connect to the phone, uh, and it will allow us to use ADB to uh, transfer the connection and to transfer files, for example, or use Linux commands on that mobile device. Uh, so in that case, we just have to type the ADB connect command, and we'll have to specify the IP address and port of the connection. So I'll just type in the command ADB connect. Uh, we use that IP address that we saw on the top bar of the Genymotion emulator. So just 192.168.178.108. Um, it could be very different for you. It depends on the network settings and also on the emulator. And here we have to write this port. So this port is very important. Uh, it's the default port for Genymotion to host its devices. Therefore, we can try and connect them. So type ADB connect and try to Im uh, input that port. There might be some issues and I'll show you in a moment how to fix them. Um, okay, here we can see that the uh, connection is well specified. Therefore, we have to try and do it another way because it does not allow us to connect to that phone. Now we have to play with the network settings. There might be very many options that are working for you. So it's the best to look at your Kali Linux box, make sure that the network that you use is bridged. Uh, it should also have a NAT network adapter, but also for the phone, uh, you have to look at it and look at the isolated isolated host only network. It's important as the first network card, but also for the second card, we can think of a NAT network. We could try that or we could use a bridge network. Troubleshooting is very important uh, when we are talking about mobile device penetration test testing because there is a lot of dependencies. So we have to depend on uh, virtual box. We have to depend on different virtual machines, etc., etc. And everything might not work the best uh, when we are first starting. So let's try and change that to bridged network adapter. I'll press allow all just to use it. And I look how the emulator reacts to that. Okay. And it should be uh connected in a moment so i'll just come into my kali device and try to connect i can see that it's still not connecting uh, to that ip address therefore i have to proceed further to uh, troubleshoot this issue it's very important to actually try and fix such things now we can try a NAT network it should also work and we can also leave the normal network it really depends on what uh, device we are using. Here is the host only adapter of uh, from VirtualBox. Also, uh, we could look at our Kali Linux device and how it is connected to the internet. So it's important to use a bridged adapter. Mm -hmm. um, we might also switch to the NAT network and look how it functions. So it's important to have both of those network cards on our Kali Linux device. 
And now we could try and change up the adapters here. So uh, we can leave the phone as it is. There is really a lot of options that we have to troubleshoot for everything to work. So for example, in Kali, we would have to change the wired connections, which means that we change from one adapter to another. So let's try it and see if it works. Okay, I tap ADB connect and my IP address again, and it worked without any issues. Therefore, we have to check which adapter we are using. I recommend you to actually um, do a little bit of trial and error to see and fix uh, the options. So the phone was on default settings just as it came out of Jenny Motion, and here in Kali, I just had to press the adapter and change it. We could also change it using the iwconfig uh, con command to manipulate this information. Okay, so here we can see that our phone is connected. We can try and find it using ADB devices. We can see that it's described as a device. So now we want to get into the phone. We'll just present that. We don't really need to do that right now, but we'll just try if we have a stable connection to the phone. So let's just use the basic command of ADB shell. And we can see that through ADB shell, there is no problem when specifying our commands. And here I can, for example, press who am I and see that I'm root on the phone. It's obvious as I have root access, the phone uh, that we are using is rooted by default. Also the hashtag sign is describing the privileges that we are using for the phone right now. So I can just exit the shell through this command and ADB will allow us to perform multiple actions on the phone. So for example, through ADB, uh, I could change a lot of things. I could replace applications. I could also uh, try to install an application on the device. We can install multiple apps. Uh, we could also try to uninstall an app. There is a lot of um, things we could do with that. Also on a normal Android device, it's important to go into the settings and check if we have Android Debug Bridge turned on. So that would be the case when we are working with a real phone that is connected by USB to our computer. Okay, so in that case, when we have everything from here working, uh, we could manipulate our phone through the command line. It is also very important when uh, we try to test mobile devices. What we can try and do now is try to perform a different action. Uh, that will be very, very important when we try to infect someone's phone. So. Uh, we can try and set up uh, malware for our mobile device. We we'll, might also find some troubleshooting with the connection, but we'll see how it works and how it functions. At first, what I would like you to do is to set up a Python server, or we could use Apache 2. So there's two options, uh, just to see if the website from our Kali Linux will be available on the mobile phone. So uh, just a simple command to I do that is to use python sudo python module http server and let's run it on port 80 for example we could use any other port there sometimes might be issues when it's interfering but you could use port 8080 or for example 444 it's not a problem when you have privileges you can use that but it's the default port for http communication so let's try and get our kali linux ip address so let's use ifconfig IP, and I can see my IP address here. It might not work on the device as I might not be using the right um, adapter that is connected with the mobile phone. So let's try that. If not, we'll try to troubleshoot. So if you have any issues when you are watching this course, then uh, you can try and troubleshoot it yourself. Okay, so let's go into the browser. Uh, this is our previous Google search. So let's just type it the IP address of that Kali Linux machine. 10, 0, 250. As I'm using port 80, I don't have to specify my port, but if you are using any other port to host your website, uh, let's just press, for example, 3000. So this might also work depending on what port you would like to use. And I can see it's loading and it's not displaying everything. So uh, it is a problem, it's not working. Okay, so let's try and 
troubleshoot some things. So in the upper right corner, I also have my Ethernet network uh, devices. So I try to change to the other white connection, meaning that we switch from the bridge um, adapter to the NAT network adapter. It's very important to set up that previously so that the Kali Linux machine can work no problem.